there are 10 compulsory core Commonwealth Games sports, as host city Glasgow has chosen a further seven, one of which is table tennis. Table tennis will be included on the Glasgow 2014 Commonwealth Games program for the fourth time after being introduced in Manchester in 2002. I competed in the last Commonwealth Games in, in India, Delhi back in 2010. I was only 20 at the time and to go there and be in the Commonwealth Games village and surrounded by all these other top athletes is quite a, a strange environment to be in when, if you've not been in it before. So hopefully having that experience will benefit me as well. You know, when you put it into perspective, you're only two or three matches away from playing for a medal, so you, you never know what can happen. The sport of table tennis is so interesting for me as a competitor because of the, the speed of it. And once you're at a certain level and you realise how actually enjoyable it is, then you, you're more motivated to come back and come back. And I suppose it's a bit of an addiction, really. You know, table tennis players really struggle to give up. Table tennis will be hosted at the Scotsland Sports Campus along with squash and it's a unique venue because it's actually a community venue. It's hosted previously the Commonwealth Table Tennis Championships so it's no stranger to table tennis competition at an international level. They set it up exactly how they were intending to set it up for Glasgow so it was a dress rehearsal for it. So we've had the opportunity of playing in the stands and the show courts in front of the TV cameras. It's given us a taste of what potentially the games could be like. It's a sellout crowd so we've heard that should add another aspect to the game that we don't get used to playing in front of big, massive crowds anyway, never mind in our own country. And hopefully, and I think it will work, work to our advantage. For the table tennis competition at Glasgow 2014, seven gold medals are up for grabs. There'll be three for men, three for women, and one mixed doubles event. It's massively important uh, for table tennis being the Commonwealth Games because it's getting the recognition, especially in countries like Scotland where it's maybe not such a big sport. The more we can show of it at a high level, then the more chance there is of more people uh, taking an interest in it, which is really what the Commonwealth Games legacy should be about. <laughs>